Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, we'll be checking out some of the new features to the first update of the ADSR Sample Manager plugin. So a lot of you guys had some great feedback, some suggestions on YouTube, Facebook, other social media about some features or some improvements to the Sample Manager and ADSR has delivered those. So you can see that I have the plugin manager pulled up in my DAW and you can also see that I have a whole library of sounds loaded up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the plugin. Now, it's important to note that when we update the plugin, the library, any samples, any loops, anything that we've, that we've added to the sample manager, it's not gonna go away. It's just gonna update the plugin and add some new features and some improvements. So you can also see to the left that this bell is green. When the bell is green, it indicates that there is an available update. So let's click it. When you click it, you're gonna see a screen that gives you some condensed release notes. And these are gonna be the kind of the main features that have been added. We can also click this link down below to see a more detailed release notes that also includes things like bug enhancements and also GUI performance, that sort of stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hit download update. So we have the update downloaded, let's install it. I'm gonna hit continue, continue, install, and we are off and running. All right, so we're back inside of our DAW. Let's go to the settings panel and we can confirm that we did successfully install version 1.0.6. All right, so let's check out some of the new features now. One of the top requested features was the ability to see and sort your untagged samples. So the sample manager will try, valiantly try to tag any sample or loop that you tell it to. But there are some instances where that's impossible. Misspellings, just poorly named sounds or samples, right? There's a lot that could go on. Well, now we can see our untagged samples with a click of a button or with a text search. So to test this out, let's import a couple sounds that are poorly named. So I made this folder just for this video here, and we can see we have three sounds, three samples in this folder. We have percussion weird .aiff, super dope guitar, which is a WAV file, and then a white noise effect. So it's important to note that the AIF file format can now be imported into the sample manager. That's why that's included. But you can also note that the, that specific sample is misspelled, same with super dope guitar. So let's hit open. What I'm assuming is going to happen is the sample manager will successfully tag the white noise effect, but not the other two. And that is what happened. We have two untagged files. So let's say you're importing a new sample pack, sound set, a bank of samples or loops, and this happens. It's gonna be really beneficial to your workflow, your production, to just go and tag it really quickly yourself. So I can hit okay, I can scroll down to the bottom of my tag list and I can select untagged, right? I have about 8,000 samples loaded into the sample manager. So that's why there's 438 that aren't untagged, that are, that are untagged rather. So let's say I wanted to go and change those two. I could click this, let's say it was this, right? Now I can go and add my tag. I could call this Foley, I can add a uh, outside, outside Foley, right? And now I can search for those. So we have a few new features down here in the DAW sync section. There are three different time stretching algorithms or modes now, which is great because you can cater to the content that you are playing back. They're smooth, normal, and drums. And you just click on it or arrow through to change through those. You have to have DAW sync selected to do that. So let's test this out. I'm gonna play a drum loop, drum beat here that was created at 135 beats per minute. We have DAW sync off, so it's just in its original form. Let's demo it. All right, so let's change the tempo of my session. Let's crank it up 20 beats per minute to 155, engage DAW sync, and let's play it in the drum algorithm or drum mode. Right, sounds pretty darn good. We have punchy kicks, we don't have any smearing or nasty aliasing. Now let's compare that to the smooth algorithm. Right, so the smooth algorithm now would not be what you would choose for most drum tracks and drum beats or drum loops. This will be great for melodic content like vocals, piano, synths, that sort of stuff. But it's great to have these dedicated modes because you're gonna get better results, especially when you drag into your DAW. So another added feature is the sample end time or this end marker. So we can now control where a loop or a sample stops playing, right? So this is great because now you can have, you know, if there's too much decay on a sample or you, you want the loop to cut halfway, you can do that. So we can take this in here and hit play, right? And it stops playing. So 
what we can also do with this is select, kind of get selective with what parts of our samples or our loops we want to work with in our DAW. For instance, let's say I want just this snap. I can change my sample start and sample end times accordingly. And now I can right click on our drag icon and I have options between whole file and trimmed file. What I'm gonna do is drag the trimmed file into my DAW, which is basically just like creating a one shot from this loop. So let's listen. So this also benefits the MIDI mode, right? So I can create custom loops now. We're in MIDI mode and we're set to loop. So instead of in version one, it would loop the whole way, right? Now I can just take, let's say I want these first few hits. If I hold down a note on my keyboard, right, it'll loop how I have it set. So we can actually quickly change how the loop is also playing back in terms of speed. So if I go up to my BPM tag, I can right click on this and I can edit the BPM, have it, double it, and reset it. So let's double it to slow it down. So now if I play a note on my keyboard, right, it slowed it down and we can have it a couple times to get it to be fast, right? And we can, again, change the loop point, the start and end time with our little flags here in our markers. Right, so we're essentially, we just created our own little loop from this one loop just by moving the start and end time and changing the BPM. And finally, under the hood, behind the scenes, the detection for one shot and loop has been improved. So the first version, sometimes you might've selected one shot and had a rogue loop, a few loops showing up. Well, that should be pretty much non-existent with 1.0.6, and you should get much more consistent results across the board. So guys, that sums up a look at the major improvements to the ADSR Sample Manager 1.0.6 update. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.